Man, first of all, wow. Uh, how awesome is this? I know that uh, you guys all out there, as well as I, I mean, I get to sit up here on this stage with this red coat. Um, it's just amazing. I just want to thank again and, and get a round of applause for all these amazing people. Um, <laughs> These guys are what it's all about. They were, uh, they're the ones that set the stage for us as uh, current Cardinals, guys that are just retired to, uh, to live up to what we're supposed to do as an organization, as a team, uh, to play the game of baseball. These are the guys what it's all about. And, and from the moment I, I got here, um, I remember my first 2004, uh, actually 2003 was my first uh, opening day. You see these guys come rolling in in the cars with their red coats, and they sit out in the front of a home plate, and they get honored for just how great they are and what they have accomplished. Uh, to be a part of this, to be a part of this stage with these guys is unbelievable. I just want to say again, thank you to these guys. I'm going to try to be quick because I know that Bob probably won't want to be, or is probably not real happy about sitting up here as long as we have, so <laughs> I'm going to get off so he doesn't get too mad at me. Uh, I'm going to start with some thanks. Um, there's a few people that I want to thank, and um, it's going to start with my parents. I want to thank them for instilling the values and the morals inside of me to be the person that I am. Um, I want to thank them for everything that they did when I was a kid to, to give me the opportunity to play this game. And, uh, you know, as everybody knows, if they have kids that play sports, you gotta, you got to lug them around everywhere, and it takes a lot of time and a lot of work, and I really appreciate it. Thanks, Mom and Dad. I want to thank Mr. and Mrs. DeWitt who everybody knows obviously is the owner of this ball club. They've always treated me like family. From the moment that I came here, uh, the patience that they've had, um, you know, obviously in 2003 missing that first season uh, and then bringing me back, and the patience they had with me uh, for me to have a chance to revive my career here in St. Louis and become the pitcher that I was, to have these great memories and these great moments, I, I really want to thank them. They do an amazing job. People that don't understand that get to live in this... Uh, the city and support this team as much as we do. Uh, it doesn't, they don't see the other organizations and other places. These guys run it well and they do it the right way and it, uh, it's what makes us so successful. So keep that in mind too and I want to thank them. I want to thank um, my agent Bob and Lynn. They're here too. They were like parents to me my whole career. Uh, kept me in line, uh, helped me when I was down, when I had my injuries. Uh, they're amazing people and uh, I love you guys too and thanks for coming. <clears throat> Walt Jockney and John Mosaliak, my two general managers while I hear, Walt brought me here and, and Mo worked under Walt as his assistant. They truly gave me the opportunity to come here, like I said, and, and reestablish myself as a major league player. And uh, I just want to thank both of them. Walt's not here, but Mo is, and he's a good friend of mine, and I want to thank him for, for taking a chance on me. <laughs> then I get to my on-field fathers. Uh, one of them sitting up here with me. And the other's not. I'm sure he's back in Arizona, and hopefully he can, Tony will relay this to him. But uh, from the moment I came here, Tony and Dunk uh, both gave me a different opportunity and a different way to look at how you're supposed to play the game. I knew I always had it in me. I had the talent. Uh, I had the competitiveness, but I couldn't put it together. It was explained to me in multiple different ways by multiple different people. And if it wasn't for Tony and Dunk and the way that they explained it and the way that they helped me and the way that they guided me, I wouldn't be standing here today. So I want to say thanks to Tony and to also Dave Duncan. I 
I want to say thank you to my two children who are here, Sam and Ava, who I love very much. Uh, I know I spent a lot of time away from them when I was playing, but uh, now I'm done and we get to spend a lot of time together and I love you guys so much. Thanks so much. I want to thank my beautiful wife, Jen, who's here with me. This is her first experience uh, to Cardinal Nation, so I want everybody to give her a big round of applause and show her what it's all about. I love you very much. And then to the fans, the people that supported me the most, the ones that were always on my side, no matter if I was hurt, or pitching game five of the NLCS or DS, whatever division it was, what was it? Um, I'm just thankful for you guys. Like I said, you always had patience. You always supported me no matter where I was. You always treated me first class. Like Mr. Torrey said, this place treats you like royalty and there's no question about it. From the first time I came here to win a warm up in 2003, the winter, it was actually 2004, January of 2004. It was unbelievable. The, the amount of people, the amount of excitement around baseball in this city is, uh, is just an amazing place to play. When I played in Toronto, there was multiple people that came through that organization that talked about having a chance to play in a city like this. They kept talking about St. Louis, they talked about how amazing it was. I had some friends that were able to play here. And for me to have an opportunity to play here and be my final team for as many years as I played here and have the success that we had and bring the world championships that we had to this city. It's been amazing and I, and I love you guys for that. So earlier I talked about the red coats, um, which we have some red coat guys out here. I saw them the other night. They, uh, um, the first time I was here opening day, you see these guys come trucking in on, the, on their cars and they, like I said, sit down and they sit out front and it's just amazing the amount of history and the amount of, of experience that these guys have. I respect them so much. But you sit there as a player and you don't even think about being a red coat. I'm looking, I'm looking to play, I'm looking to win, I'm looking to win World Series and I, can, I, I guarantee you I'm speaking for 99% of the players, you're not looking for Hall of Fame stuff. You're looking for, for wins. You're looking for championships when you get to this level. This is just so, ex so much extra. It's such an amazing uh, extra experience, an extra thing that you get to continue on with for the rest of your life. The thing it is, it's an honor. It's an honor for, for me to stand up here. Um, I'm 41 years old. These guys have, like I said, set the stage for me and gave me the opportunity to be able to be a, a Major League Baseball player for a great organization here. Wearing this coat um, brings to mind that I'll always be remembered. Again, I never thought of that. People come and go. There's many guys that have come through this organization that have played for the amount of this history and the, and the amount of guys that have come through this and people will say, oh yeah, I remember that guy, he played for a little while and I remember that guy, he played for a little while. But I now have a red coat. I now have a plaque that my daughter, my son, their grandkids, everybody else for, the, for forever can come and say, I know that man, or I was a part of that man's family. And they'll always be connected to the St. Louis Cardinals, and that's what's amazing. So lastly, I just again want to thank you guys for voting me in. This organization is amazing. It's amazing that I got to be a part of it. It's amazing that I get to be a part of this now. I get to come back and, and, and revisit these guys and be a part of this. And uh, it's just an awesome experience. And thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate it.